In the grips of an economic downturn, individuals and families everywhere are feeling the pinch. The cost of living is soaring, yet incomes remain stagnant, threatening financial stability and creating stress over meeting even the most basic needs. As prices continue to skyrocket, the traditional budgeting advice seems obsolete. You've already cut back on extras like dining out and entertainment, but the harsh reality of the recession demands more. The fear of overdrawn accounts looms large, and you're constantly juggling which bills to pay while stretching your dollar to its breaking point. But what if you could turn the tide in your favor even during these trying times? In this video, we'll explore some practical tips for managing your finances in an economic downturn. So without further ado, let's get started. Number 10. Never toss anything out quickly. Now let's talk trash, or better yet, let's talk treasures from what others might call trash. You see, when hard times hit, waste becomes a dare. A dare to find the treasure in what you once considered trash. Let's get crafty and turn those torn shirts into trendy totes. Or perhaps mend them with some simple sewing skills. Those skills aren't just handy, they're money savers. But wait, there's more. That nearly empty shampoo bottle? Add water and extend its life, making every drop count. Those empty containers. Give them a good rinse, they're now ready to house your homemade soap or keep things organized. And think about it, who needs fancy wrapping paper when an old newspaper adds a vintage charm to your gifts? Pass it on! Hand-me-downs are the original wardrobe refreshers. It's not just clothes, toys, books, anything that still has life in it. Remember, your outgrown could be someone's just right. And get creative in the kitchen, play with spices and herbs, Turn last night's sides into today's mouth-watering remixes. That's right, leftovers are just ingredients in disguise. And if you've decided to part ways with your items, don't let them go for free. Put them up online. Let your garage be the stage for a sale and turn your clutter into cash. Number 9. Diversify your income streams. Now let's talk real talk. Your primary income might just not cut it during the rough waves of a recession. The wisdom passed down through generations who've weathered economic storms speaks volumes. Many folks found themselves dabbling in jobs they'd never pictured, all to keep the lights on. So stretch those work muscles, embrace those extra shifts, clock in the overtime, and yes, let that cash register ring. But hey, what about side hustles? They can be your financial lifeboats. Whether it's sharing your expertise through tutoring, spreading warmth and care in childcare, or any skill you've got up your sleeve, Now's the time to play those cards. Remember, it's not forever, just your recession rendezvous. Some people have turned their side gigs into full-blown careers. Imagine finding your calling amidst chaos. How's that for a plot twist? And for my digital mavens, the online gig economy awaits you with open arms. Platforms like Contra, Upwork, and Fiverr are modern-day gold mines for freelancers. Got an ear for beats or an eye for photography? Get this. There are sites that'll pay you just to indulge in your hobbies. Watching series, reviewing tunes, snapping photos. You're basically monetizing your chill time. Survival is key during a recession, and it's all about being adaptable. It's a jungle out there, but with some clever maneuvers, who says you can't thrive? So, gear up, dive into your interests, and let's turn your passions into paychecks. As we say here, when life gives you lemons, it's time to make some lemonade and then sell it. Eighth on the list, folks, is the classic move, stocking up on food. Now, let's dial up the real talk here. Our bellies need a fill, recession or not, right? That hard-earned cash of yours, a good chunk of it already flies out that wallet and straight onto the dinner table. Plus, when panic hits the shelves during a crisis, it's a food frenzy out there. Everyone's got the same idea. Grab the eats before they're gone. So here's the play, and pay attention because this one's pure gold. You'll want to slide those canned goodies and the long-lasting staples, like flour, cereal, rice, and good old potatoes right into your pantry. Think like your great-grandma back in the rough-and-tumble days of the Great Depression, preserved to survive. Sun-drying, fermenting, salting, or even chilling in the old freezer, all these tricks can be your culinary weapons. And let's spark some joy in that prepper's pantry, shall we? Score some glass and mason jars and stash away the foods that make your heart sing, even if it's just a spoonful. A dab of your favorite jam could be the sweet highlight of a dreary week, am I right? 
Listen, we can't all be food critics in the middle of a recession, but a little treat goes a long way. Now let's tackle the meaty issue, literally. Cutting down on those protein-rich meals is a smart move for your wallet. Heads up, it's veggies for the win during crunch times. But hey, before you think it's all gloom and blandness, remember those kitchen wizards in your family line probably have a secret or two up their sleeves. Those old-school recipes? They're just brimming with flavor, ready to knock your socks off without breaking the bank. Get ready to master the art of scrumptious, simple meals. Number 7. Dodge the debt trap. Imagine it. The economy's taking a nosedive and you're wrestling with the reality that rent is due. The last place you want to be is smack dab in the middle of a mountain of debt. I know, it's tempting. Credit cards flash like neon signs offering an easy fix, and loans seem like life buoys in a sea of bills. But hold your horses before you dive into those shark-infested waters. When the going gets tough, those interest rates skyrocket faster than a SpaceX rocket. Because let's face it, during a recession, everyone's chasing a financial lifeline. Now, what if I told you the secret weapon against debt is as crisp and as green as your backyard lawn? That's right, cash is king. Paying with paper means waving goodbye to debt before it can even say hello. Living through the Great Depression taught our wise predecessors the ultimate trick. If you can't fork up the cash, you can't take it home. It's not just a purchase, it's a pact for a debt-free life. So how do you stay on track without blowing a gasket? Two words ironclad budgeting. This isn't about pinching pennies till they squeal. It's about knowing your limits and playing a mean game of financial Tetris to make everything fit. With every dime accounted for and every indulgence on lockdown, you transform into a budgeting ninja. Stealthy, precise, and downright unstoppable. You're not just surviving a recession. You are reigning supreme over it. So let's give debt the boot and stash that cash. Stay smart, Stay solvent and remember, in a world where finances are a roller coaster, your budget is your safety harness. Number six, unleash your inner creative guru. Who says you have to break the bank to have a blast? Ditch the routine cinema trips and those overpriced Airbnb bashes. We're getting crafty to save that cash and maximize joy during a recession. Why not relive the epic journeys of your favorite fantasy realms? Dust off those DVD boxes and marathon Lord of the Rings or Star Wars right from the comfort of your cozy den. And when it comes to partying, think local, think homegrown. Transform your living room into a hub of laughter with a costume-packed themed game night. Or soak in the serenity with a simple beach picnic under the stars. The best things often cost the least, and recreation is no exception. Find joy in the little things like starting a hyper-local book club or turn your daily sites into a captivating photo blog using nothing but your smartphone. Economic downturns, while challenging, can uncover your hidden talents and passions. There are stories waiting to be told by you, and who knows? Your kitchen expeditions might just birth the next viral recipe. Embrace the shakeup and let these times be your canvas for innovation. Recession can be more than a hurdle. It can be the launch pad for your most groundbreaking ideas. Engage with your world differently and watch how it illuminates new paths of excitement and creativity without draining your finances. Number five, harness the power of the sun for ultimate savings. Ladies and gentlemen, let's turn our attention to the great celestial powerhouse in the sky, the sun. Now, before you ask, no, we're not talking about solar panels, though those are awesome too. We're talking about everyday genius ways to leverage solar energy to cut down on your bills, especially during a budget-tightening recession. Imagine this. You walk by your kitchen and there, gleaming in a sunbeam, is your frozen meal defrosting naturally without a single watt of microwave energy. It's all about planning ahead. Start the thaw in the morning and by dinner, you'll be ready to cook. No high-powered appliances needed. Step outside and you'll see your clothes swaying in the breeze drying for free on a line stretched under the sun's warm gaze. And your hair, let it dance in the wind and air dry into those perfect beachy waves, saving your locks from the sizzle and your wallet from the electricity drain. But wait, there's more! The sun isn't just a giant hair and clothes dryer. It's also your ticket to a natural mood booster and a solid dose of vitamin D. Why waste a gorgeous day inside? Take your workout outdoors, catch some rays, 
and maybe even discover some breathtaking views around your neighborhood. And here's a bright idea. If it's daylight, why not let those sunbeams light up your home? Flip off the artificial lights and bask in the glow of natural light. Those lumens are free and just as effective, friends. Now for the tech-savvy savers, consider investing in solar-powered gadgets. They may have a cost up front, but in the long term, they'll have you basking not only in sunlight, but also in the glow of extra dollars you'll save. Number four, become a penny hoarder. You've heard the old saying, watch the pennies and the dollars will take care of themselves, right? Well, it's true, especially during a recession. Imagine this, by simply saving $1 each day, you can end up with over $300 after a year. That's not chump change, folks. The trap? We overlook the little things. That spontaneous snack you buy, the inexpensive gadgets that catch your eye, they all add up. Here's a challenge for you. Track every single thing you spend money on. Yep, every single cent. Will you miss that candy bar from the checkout line in the long run? What about those scented candles? Are they lighting up your life enough to justify the cost? And let's talk about the sneaky money eaters we call subscriptions. They seem so innocent at just 10 a des a month, but multiply that over 12 months. And for several subscriptions, and you're talking real money. Listen, in tough times, like in a recession, we need to clutch our wallets a tad tighter. Let me tell you, those little 10 daz monthly charges morph into a mountain of wasted cash over the year. Take the bold step. Slash those subscriptions you barely use. Kiss goodbye to those sweet little indulgences that give you a momentary high. And one more thing, don't dismiss the power of the piggy bank. That loose change? Give it a home in a jar or a piggy bank instead of letting it gather dust under your couch cushions. It's shocking how quickly those coins can add up, even when the economy's down. And who knows, those savings might just be your silver lining during a recession. Number three, save on resources. Picture this. Your bills are stacking up, the economic downturn is knocking on your door, and every penny counts. Before you start panicking, let's dive into a frugality life hack. That's both eco-friendly and wallet-friendly, saving on resources. Imagine the liberation when you're not constantly worried about the next utility bill. It's time to be strategic about your resource usage. Don't just throw that shirt in the wash after a single use if it passes the sniff test. And you've had an easy-going day. Let it air out for another wear. And when it comes to kitchen etiquette, let's turn that dishwasher into a weekly event, not a daily solo performance for a lonely mug and plate. Let's not stop there. Those light switches can become your new best friend if you remember to flick them off as you exit a room. Embrace the minimalist lifestyle with a single TV and fridge setup. It's not only chic, but also cuts down those electric currents that hike up your bills. When you're connecting with the world, choose a data plan that's like a perfectly tailored suit. It fits just right without the extravagant costs. Leave the car keys behind for those quick trips to the store. Instead, stretch out those legs, hop on a bike, and breathe in the fresh air. Your body, bank account, and Mother Earth will thank you. But wait, there's more. Unleash your inner treasure hunter and embrace the world of thrifting. Secondhand shops are bursting with quality finds that won't break the bank. And here's a pro tip. Take a leisurely browse through several stores before you cash out. That way, you'll not only bag the best deals, but you'll also turn heads with your unique style, all while padding your wallet. Embrace these game-changing habits and watch as your resources and savings stretch further than ever before, even during a recession. Number two, share with your community. When the going gets tough, the tough get going with a little help from their friends. Imagine turning back the clock to an era where communities thrived on sharing. No one turned their nose up at hand-me-downs. They were treasured. That blazer that your buddy outgrew? It could be your next statement piece. And don't even think about buying that book your pal has been raving about. Borrow it and pass it along. But hey, it's not all about what you can get, but what you can give too. Are you the local green thumb? Share your harvest. Your neighbor's fresh eggs could become part of your morning scramble in a brilliant barter that would make your ancestors proud. In this digital age, let's not forget the wholesome joy of sharing a home-cooked meal with neighbors. You've made a feast, and your brood can't possibly finish it. Wrap up those leftovers and brighten someone's day.
And remember, what goes around comes around. Those same neighbors will surely return the favor. Carpooling isn't just eco-friendly, it's recession-friendly. And for the little ones, consider a neighborhood babysitting swap. It's cost-effective, it builds trust, and it turns neighbors into lifelong friends. Surviving a recession isn't just about cutting costs, it's about building community. Spread the kindness and watch it work wonders for your wallet and your spirit. Number one, invest in yourself. There's no time like a recession to reflect deeply on personal growth and invest in your own skills and education. Imagine emerging from economic hardships not just unscathed, but ahead of the game, because you took the time to enhance your capabilities. Whether it's learning a new language that could open up global job markets, mastering a digital tool that makes you indispensable at work, or even diving into the world of online courses. To finally start that side hustle, personal development pays dividends. The library, once seen as an archaic chamber, is in fact a gold mine of free knowledge waiting to be exploited. Online webinars, community workshops, and networking events can transform your career prospects without costing a cent. And let's not forget the wealth available in books. Your local bookstore or library could hold the key to unlocking your next big opportunity. Stash away those nickels and dimes for certifications that make your resume sparkle. When the recession recedes, you'll stand tall with a robust skill set that's both impressive and in demand, well prepared to tackle a thriving job market. In the toughest times, remember, the most fruitful investment you can make is in yourself. As we've navigated the turbulent waters of economic uncertainty together, the strategies we've shared are more than mere survival tactics. They are a testament to the resilience and adaptability of the human spirit. By embracing frugality, community, and self-improvement, we can transform a recession into a period of growth and opportunity. Now it's your turn to weigh in. What are your go-to strategies during tough economic times? Leave us a comment below. We'd love to hear from you. If you found value in these tips and tricks, please give this video a like. It helps more than you know. And for more insights on thriving in the face of adversity, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Your support fuels our mission to bring you the best in unlocking your potential. Here's to making every penny and every moment count.